Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, we're going to take a little trip through my trash can. It's an empties video. These are always so much fun to make because I just throw the stuff in this one bin that I keep and then it's always a mystery as far as what's going to pop out at the end of a month or two to see like what I've used up. And I gotta say uh, there's a lot of skincare in here and a lot of sunscreen because of course I use sunscreen all year round and so my empties always contain sunscreen. But I actually have some makeup in this one which is rare because I don't know you know I try so much new makeup that it's hard to go through the old makeup but I have used up some makeup products. Let's start in with skincare today because I wanted to show you that I've used up three different uh, prescription retinoid creams. <laughs> You know, I love my prescription Retin-A. I use the generic Tretinoin, and over the course of my time using it, I have picked it up in different places around the planet. So this one is the prescription that I had been getting from my regular dermatologist. This is the 0.1% uh, Tretinoin cream. That's the generic. This one is a 0.05% cream that I had picked up at the airport in Mexico a couple of years ago. And this guy is the 0.1% cream that I had grabbed in Spain a couple of years ago. When I, you know, I'm in an airport or in a country where it's not prescription, where it's over the counter, I just grab a couple of tubes and I stick them in my fridge. It's stored in a metal tube and so the active ingredient is going to be stable until you open it so it's fine to keep these laying around for a little bit. So this is the one that I used on my face. This is a 0.1%. I use this every night on my face and then um, I would use the one from Mexico, the 0.05 on like the backs of my hands and my chest until I use that up or I would use the Spanish one which is also the 0.1%. I would use that on my chest and the backs of my hands as well. There's nothing wrong with these. It's just that this one has fragrance in it and it also has a lot of mineral oil so I don't really like it for my face because I don't really like fragrance things for my face and this one was in my fridge for like a year and so I was like well let me just use it up so I just use it on my hands and my chest and things like that so as you can see I am way 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 into tretinoin slash retin-a it is like the most powerful thing and I've seen the results in my skin if you want to see my five-year results video I'll put the link to that right up here so that you know in case you're having any questions about it you can go over there and take a look but I haven't gotten any I haven't gotten this guy refilled even though my doctor did send over a prescription for me to CVS because in the meantime I started trying Curology and this is also in the empties. This is my first tube of Curology that I have used up completely and I'm way into my second tube. Uh, almost done with that one and my third tube has arrived already. So this is an online service where you can get prescription anti-aging and acne medications prescribed to you by a dermatology provider. All you do is like take a few selfies, upload them to their website, you check you chat back and forth via email um, through the website with your provider and they make you a custom formulation based on your skincare needs. And the reason that I'm going with this now instead of just straight this is because even when I was using this, and this is like an acne medication, even when I was using this, I would always get breakouts. Like I always had three or four pimples going on my face at any given time. But with this, Oh my God, night and day. I swear, I haven't had a single pimple since I started with this and I love it. So this has a combination of medicines in it that treat both my wrinkles and my acne. And so I never tried clindamycin before. So this has 0.09% tretinoin, it has 1% clindamycin, and it has 5% azaleic acid. So this has completely taken the place of my regular prescription retinoid because it is a retinoid. And you're not going to use two retinoids. That would be too much and too irritating to your skin. So just one retinoid is all you need. If you're interested in trying Curology, they're offering the first month for free. And you can use my link in the information box below to go over there and fill out their little survey, upload your pictures, and start on Curology. I just wanted to mention that I misspoke in both of my other videos that I did on Curology, and I said that you could text back and forth with your dermatology provider. That is not the case. You can communicate with your dermatology provider through the website, and um, that's pretty much the only way. There is no texting. Sorry about that. My bad. And then the last thing in face skincare is I've used up another timeless um, C serum. This is their 20% CE ferulic 
acid serum. I love this guy. I use it every single day and the price point is so good at $24.95. You can always use my code which is HF5OFF. It's all lowercase and put that in at checkout and that will get you $5 off your order from Timeless at checkout and that is good all year round every single day. I've got a couple of sunscreens in here. The first one is my Australian Gold Botanical Tinted Face SPF 50. This is like my holy grail face sunscreen. I love this stuff so I go through it quite quickly. There's a lot in here. The price is great. This is something that you can just slather on. You can put on a ton of it and use it every day and feel protected and not have to worry about how much it's costing you. So I love that one. It does have a slight tint and it can be a little bit drying so sometimes I mix it half and a half with my hydropeptide but that's super expensive um, and so I try to like save that one a little bit by using more of this and a little bit less of that. So that's a good one to use if you're looking for a great face sunscreen and speaking of face sunscreens I just put out my annual all mineral facial sunscreen testing video. We'll put the link up here if you want to take a look at that one. Found two new really great sunscreens this year that are giving my Australian Gold a run for its money. So if you didn't love the Australian Gold, if you tried it because of me, there are a couple more things that you can try. If you take a look at that video, um, you know, you'll be able to see what were the winners and what were the losers from this year. A lot of people ask when I put up that video, well, is there a good mineral sunscreen to use on my body? And I actually just started doing a sunscreen, uh, body mineral sunscreen testing video, but it's not going to be easy to find something that doesn't leave a big white cast because while they're willing to, you know, put the extra money and expense into formulating a nice elegant one for the face, it's hard to find one for the body. So in the meantime, I just use standard chemical sunscreen for my body. And the one that I love the most is the Banana Boat Sun Comfort. So this is empty. I just finished this one off. Um, and you know, like even if I'm wearing a short sleeper like this, uh, but not leaving my house, I still sunscreen up my arms every day and you know, my chest and every bit of my skin that shows, I do. I still make sure to sunscreen my hands every day. So it's always good to just have some sunscreen around. It's not just for summertime. It's very comfortable. It's very dry feeling. It's not greasy. It doesn't smell like sunscreen. It does have a smell, but a really pretty smell. When uh, summer's coming and I want to put on a tan since I don't really tan, the self tanner that I use is the Jergens Natural Glow. I get the firming one. You know, I'm hoping it'll firm a little bit. Um, and I get the medium to tan one. I like kind of the darker one because, you know, it's a gradual tanner and I find with the light one it just takes too long. It's like one step forward and two steps back every time I take on a shower and I put that on every day and it just builds up a nice gradual tan so you don't have to worry about streaks or anything like that. So that's my favorite um, self tanner from the neck down. I do have a, self, a favorite self tanner for the face which is not in my empties because I haven't used it up but I know people are going to ask. Uh, it's the Kula Anti-Aging um, self tanner serum. Of course there will be a link to it in the information box below the video if you want to just find it right away. That's a really good one. I used up another bottle of Alpha Skin Care Renewal Body Lotion. This is the 12% glycolic acid lotion that I use from the neck down every day. I love this stuff. It's so good. If you have crepey body skin, if you've been asking me about crepe erase, um, just get this instead. Save yourself a lot of money. It's basically the same thing. Um, crepe erase is like an exfoliating body wash and then a moisturizer where this is a glycolic acid moisturizer. Glycolic acid is really great at helping your skin cells to turn over and so it makes your skin look a little bit younger. It makes it just act a little better, look a little better, especially with it being spring and summer and the shorts are coming out and the short sleeves. You want your skin to look its best. All right and then before we get into the makeup, the last two things are eyelash and brow growth serums. This is Revitalash. This is the one that I've been using for for about a year and a half now. I really, really love this. Um, it really helped to make my eyelashes and my eyebrows grow in a lot better. But this is pretty spendy. This is the half size one. The full size one is about 115, so it's a lot, but the full size one would last me for like nine months. Um, but when I ran out of this, I decided to try something new just because I'm always looking for something new and different. And so I tried Babe Lash. So this is another one that has a prostaglandin analog in it. And so it will grow your 
your eyelashes and your eyebrows. Um, this one, oh my gosh, I haven't had my eyebrows be so full in a long time. Oh my gosh, if you're looking for brow growth, has this ever given it to me? Like, I don't have any brow makeup on right now. I never wear brow makeup anymore because it, my brows have totally filled in, especially down here at the tail where they used to be so thin and so sparse. It really is quite something how well this has regrown my brows. And so I really like this. The only problem is that this doesn't last nearly as long. Right on the box, this says it's a three month supply and boy, is it a three month supply like this I ran out of like clockwork in three months so I had to repurchase again and this is $45 so if this is gonna be $45 every three months it pretty much ends up being the same price as this one. So if you're already using Revitalash and you're very happy with it, then it's actually cheaper than Babe Lash over the nine months that the big two of this last me. But if you are trying to grow your brows better, then you might want to try Babe Lash because it's definitely better on the brows. I think Revitalash works better, makes my lashes a little bit longer, a little bit fuller than this does. Okay, then in makeup, I completely ran out of my favorite liquid eyeliner. That's Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Liner. I love this because the brush is just so teeny tiny and it's really kind of stiff so it, I can make a really good clean liquid liner line up there. So that's my favorite liquid liner. I have repurchased that and I do have a new one of those. Um, I completely used up my Buxom Full On Lip Cream. This is like the little sample size. I get the, I always get the holiday box with lots of different colors in it. And this was my favorite of the limited edition ones from this year in Blushing Margarita. This one was awesome. My favorite color from the regular collection that isn't limited edition is Dolly. It's a really soft pink. It's just beautiful. And I love that like minty tingle. It like plumps up my lips a little bit. So love the Buxom Full On Lip Creams. Um, then something else that I used up is my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed HD Powder. This one I had hit pan on it completely and there's just a little ring of it around the outside, but oh no, look what happened. Then it all broke and crumbled. The It Bye Bye Pores Powder is my favorite setting powder and I like this one for travel because the loose one is kind of messy. And then I also used up another one of my favorite mascaras. This is the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Knockout Mascara. This mascara was love at first sight with me. I used it the first time, I loved it, and I've used it every single day since then. I have other mascaras that I kind of like, but they all have like something that's not quite right about them. Either I don't like the brush, or it's hard to remove it, or it does flake a little bit. This this one is like perfection in every way. I love the brush. I love the formula. It's not hard to get it off at night. It doesn't flake or chip or smudge or run. It's like the perfect mascara and it makes my lashes look so perfect. It doesn't, it doesn't have clumps. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful mascara. Here's a drugstore mascara that I used up. It's the uh, Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Angel. I really did like this a lot. Uh, but I didn't repurchase it. I feel like I really like the brush. It's got like this little angel wing kind of thing going with the brush. It kind of grabs every little lash. I like it for doing especially my lower lashes. What is the deal with this? I think it might flake a little bit towards the end of the day. So I haven't repurchased this. I have gotten some other drugstore mascaras that I think I like a little bit better, but I like the brush in this one so much that I may actually repurchase it. And then the last thing is my trio of eyeliner pencils. This is the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips. Um, they come in two different colors. It's kind of a brown version, and this is the blacky grayish version, but you get three eyeliner pencils in the set, and these are mechanical pencils. And I had had these for so long, and I use them just about every single day. There's the gray. Um, and you know what? They eventually just kind of dried out. Yeah, see how, how dry they are? I'm trying to draw, I'm trying to draw, and it's just so dry, like no color will come off of this thing. So I have replaced them. It's not a hardship because it's Physicians Formula. They're inexpensive. So that's it for today's video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks as always for watching. You know, I really appreciate your time. So have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <music>